Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca. Let's talk about makeup. So today I am here to update you on my 50 Shades of Brown project pan for the month of August. This is a fantastic ladies collab created by Jessica Lee, Amanda, and Cece. I will link all of these lovely ladies in the description box below, along with the fantastic ladies Facebook group, where you will find all the information on this project and a whole bunch of other really fun projects. However, you do not need to be a member of the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group in order to participate in this project. It is open to everybody. We're not gonna be going over every single product. We're only gonna be looking at the ones that I have gotten some progress on this last month. I will put up pictures when I can if there is any visible progress with the product that I'm talking about. So let's get to it. I only have one rollout for you this month. It is my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. She's done. She is finally done. I am so pleased and also at the same time quite sad because I did really, really learn to love this product. I think I trash talked it a little bit in my inventory series at the beginning of the year. The reason I did that was because it is a very sheer product. There's a lot of translucency in this product. So if you want a more sculpted look, you're definitely gonna have to build it up. However, I really do feel like the strength of this product is its translucency. It is almost impossible to mess this up. If you really want a very natural looking contour and you don't wanna have to worry about it ending up looking stripey or muddy or unblended, this is the product that will do that. It almost blends itself. I've been wearing a lot more sheer uh, kind of no makeup makeup throughout the summer and this has absolutely been my go-to because it is the sort of thing that I can add to a look like that that will give me just a little bit of definition but it won't look like makeup it is just it's a fabulous product I'm really pleased to have used the whole thing up but I am sad that it's gone I do have a bunch of other contour products that need attention but I'm almost certain that at some point I will repurchase this next is my Sephora colorful shadow and liner stick in the shade cafe Olay. this is what she's looking like right now I have been using this shadow stick as an eye primer and I have really been enjoying it this claims to be waterproof and while I haven't necessarily tested the waterproof nature of it I do feel find eyeshadow sticks that claim to be waterproof to have a lot of staying power and to make really really good uh, eyeshadow bases and this one definitely does that for me as of my last update I had used it a total of 18 times and it was weighing in at 7.78 grams I have used it an additional six times and it is now weighing at 7.36 grams so we're making actually some really good progress with this one and I am very much enjoying it next we have my NYX retractable liner in the shade I think this is just the shade brown is what it is I don't all the markings are gone <laughs> this is how much we have left here I actually didn't talk about this in my last update because I had not used it the month prior but since then I have used this liner let's see how many times five times I've used this liner five times and it is currently weighing in at 4.36 grams it came into the project at 4.43 grams so we're getting some incremental use on it we don't have a whole lot of product left so um, I don't think this is gonna be a problem to have this finished before next April. Next is my Juvia's Place lip gloss in the shade Brown Sugar. That's her right here. This is the most truly brown uh, lip gloss that I have ever used in my life. <laughs> I don't tend to use it on its own. I use it over the top of other lip products that I feel are a little bit too saturated. So it came into the project at 33 grams even. I had used it 11 times as of my last update. I have now used it an additional six times and it is weighing in at 32.44 grams. There is like weight wise, there is very little progress that's happening here. And that's because I don't tend to use this the way I use other lip glosses where it is the primary thing on my lips that I'm applying over and over again. It is definitely something that I am using over the top of other uh, lip products and because of that uh <laughs> i don't know if i can get this done i'm gonna give it my absolute best try and see how far i can get but i am not i am not confident y'all i'm not confident we can get through that <laughs> We're going to try though. We're going to try. Next, I have my Viore Citrus Solid Conditioner. I know this is not brown, but the paper packaging it originally came in was brown. I promise you. <laughs> this is what she's looking like. Just a little tiny sliver of its former self. So this is just a solid conditioner. I use it in the shower, both to condition my hair and to shave my legs. Gosh, it just smells divine. As far as its quality as a conditioner, I think it is nice so long as you don't have dry hair. As long as you're not expecting a really, really rich, 
moisturizing conditioner. I think this one is just fine. Uh, it is the summertime. I don't have particularly dry hair at any point in the year, but right now, definitely not. I also have very fine hair and it tends to get weighed down easily. This does not weigh down my hair and I really do appreciate that. So progress wise, this came into the project at 69.90 grams. And as of my last update, I had used this product, let's see, 18 times. I used it an additional eight times this last month and it is now weighing in at 19.64 grams. So that is 20 grams down from where it was last month when it was at 39.59 grams. Yeah, so we're 20 grams down. If I use that amount of this over this next month, it will be a rollout at the next update. So we're gonna shoot for that, I'm gonna try. I, I do feel like it's gonna start getting really, really difficult to use once it's about half its size. So <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle that. Well, we'll find out, I suppose. Next, I have my Holica Holica Honey Blueberry Sleeping Pack. This is it right here. This is a bit, just a very moisturizing, kind of gel nighttime moisturizer for me. Generally speaking, this tends to be a little bit uh, too hydrating for me during the summertime when I am more oily than combo. However, my, my skin has been feeling a little extra dry recently because I have kind of been really going at it hard with my tretinoin. So I actually pulled this out the other night and used it. I used it once. That was my one use for the entire month. This is definitely a product that I'm going to get a lot more use out of once the weather gets a little colder and my skin is a little bit more dry. Next, I have my Beatles Gel Nail Polish in the shade B071. This is my favorite nude gel nail polish of all time. It is the perfect shade the perfect amount of translucency it's more of like a jelly type uh, nail color than a full opacity one which I personally prefer I have actually used it three and a half times over the last month which is an unusual amount of use for me I did a little bit more experimentation with different nail art this month than I usually do I usually don't have that kind of time I don't know that I really had that kind of time this month either but I made the time because it's something that I really really enjoy and uh, I had a good time I was not sure about my ability to finish an entire bottle. Um, this is not the first bottle that I have used, but I didn't really keep track of how long it took me to go through the last one that I went through. Um, but I, when I was doing my nails, I had to, I had to fix a nail last night. I had to replace one of these nails and redo the ombre on it. And as I was doing that, I was starting to have to do, you know, you know, the thing that you do when you're starting to run low starting to run low on this one and that kind of surprises me it came into the project at 59.38 grams i had used it three times as of my last update and it was sitting at 57 grams even after that three and a half uses over the last month is now sitting at 55.5 grams so i do think we're getting close on this one i have another bottle waiting for me as soon as this one is done next is another one that i think i am just I'm almost there with this one. This is my Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade 02 Sunkissed. And I just need to be very careful showing you this one. <laughs> We're almost there. I had to repress this one last month. I will show you some pictures of what it looked like. After repressing it, obviously, it's just very, very soft and it kicks up a lot of dust whenever I dip a brush in there. So I have a lot of loose bronzer just sort of sitting there, but that is what she's looking like. Uh, we're almost there. We are almost there. This came into the project in April at 30.81 grams. As of my last update, I had used it a total of 31 times and it was weighing at 28.58 grams. I have used it an additional 10 times over this last month and it is now weighing at 27 0.52 grams. So this one is also getting super close. I would not be surprised if this one is in my empties at the end of the month. Next is my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour stick in the shade Mink. This one was rolled into the project at 35 grams even. I'll see if I can get a picture up there for you. As of my last update, I had used this product 11 times and it was weighing in at 28.58 grams. I have since used it an additional 10 times and it is now weighing at 27.52 grams. So we are making some good progress on this one. This is definitely the contour product I tend to favor a little bit more when I'm wearing some more, more full on makeup over my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, which I think is more appropriate for me 
for more lightweight makeup, but I definitely think both of these have a place in my collection. I really do enjoy this. I think mink is a fantastic color. It is not too cool. It is not too warm. It's just about perfect. Next, I have the one eyeshadow palette that I currently have in my collection here. This is the Glam Light Hershey Kisses Milk Chocolate Palette. This is such a beautiful palette. I have each of the five shades in this palette rolled in individually as separate products. My goal here is to use each of these shades 30 times. There's no names for these uh, shadows, so I just have them numbered. Usually I'm holding the palette like this, so I have them numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, but I don't wanna bl blind you, so I'm just gonna hold it. <laughs> just gonna hold it like that. So this is number one right here. As of my last update, I had used it nine times and I have used it an additional five times for a total of 15 uses. So we're just about halfway there for sh this shade here. This is just a beautiful dark chocolatey brown. It's like a dark cool brown and I don't have a lot of cool browns in my collection. I don't feel like that swatch really did it justice, but I think that's user error the quality in this palette is just really fantastic. I have no complaints there. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. Okay, so this is shade two here. I think this is the one of all of these shades that I have used the least. As of my last update, I had only used it, let's see, four times, four times since April. I have since used it an additional two times uh, for a total of six uses. This is what she looks like here. It is a really beautiful shade, super creamy, just really shiny and lovely. You can see the indentation of my <laughs> my Apple Watch right there. It is a really lovely eyeshadow, but I have found that whenever I'm using something that's on the deeper side like this one, in most cases, I'd prefer a matte. So I find it difficult to reach for this one. It is a really pretty, beautiful shade though. A lot of shine, very smooth. Next, shade three is this bronzy one here on the outside. As of my last update, I had used this one five times. Do you see how gorgeous and buttery that is? Oh, stunning. Okay, so I had used this five times as of my last update. Over the last month, I have used it an additional three times for a total of eight uses. Next, shade four is this beautiful warm brown matte. As of my last update, I had used this a total of nine times and I have used it an additional four times for a total of 13 uses. So we're almost halfway on that one as well. Next, we have this cooler mid-tone matte brown here. I just, I love the cool undertone of these browns. I feel like that almost looks almost purpley, just a slight hint of rosiness in that color. I just, I think it's the coolness of these colors that make them unique in my collection. So as of my last update, I had used this shade here a total of five times. I've used it an additional five times over this last month for a total of 10 uses. So we're getting there on that one as well. Last is this silvery shade here up top. I think I struggle a little bit to wear these more silvery shades. I don't tend to gravitate towards silvers in general. So I was struggling to get my uses on this one. However, I recently discovered that I can actually mix these two shimmers here and get something that's a lot more neutral than either one of them on their own. So as of my last update, I had actually only used this three times, uh, but in the last month I have used it four times for a total of seven uses. And that is how we are going with my Hersey's Kiss Glam Light palette. I wasn't exactly sure um, what was reasonable to shoot for um, with this palette, but given how much more time that we have in the rest of the year, I think I may end up extending my uh, usage goal for each one of these shades. Currently it's sitting at 30 uses. I think I'm almost certainly gonna reach that goal well before the end of this project. I don't know if you want to put me in the video. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need, oh. hun? Sorry, the camera may have moved. I had to go help my daughter with something. Next is my Holica Holica Honey Roilactin Propolis Ampule. This is a hydrating serum that is actually, it is quite hydrating, but it is also incredibly fragranced. I rolled it into this project because I was really struggling to use it, and I, but I didn't want to throw it away. Fortunately, I'm not terribly sensitive to fragrance. Um, I don't tend to break out or get headaches, but it's not super pleasant. It's not, it's not the most pleasant experience that I've ever had. So when I rolled this in, I forgot to weigh this when I rolled it in, but I only used it like two times uh, after that update. So since I rolled this in, I have used it eight times. Uh, and last update, it was weighing in at 102.88 grams. I have since used it 
six more times and it is now weighing in at 99.62 grams. I actually marked the bottle on this one. I got wise and started marking bottles and this is where we were last time and this is where we're at now. So yeah, we're making progress. Uh, it is not the most fun skincare product that I have ever used, but I don't know, it is effective. So I didn't wanna just throw it away. It is definitely, definitely not gonna be a repurchase. Uh, but we're getting through it. Next, I have a lip liner. This is uh, from Misho Beauty, which is a brand I never, I didn't have any experience with. This is a lip liner in shade Madam, which is this very deep purpley brown color. I have not, oh my gosh, do you just see that? I just broke it off. Oh no. Let's see if I can stick it back in. That was not ideal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> roll it all the way back down now. I have not been getting a ton of uses on this since I rolled it in simply because, and I should have thought of this before I rolled it in, but it's summertime. I'm not wearing a whole lot of really dark lipstick and this is quite a dark lip liner here. So as of my last update, I had only used it a, a total of four times um, and it was weighing in at 4.38 grams. I have since used it an additional four times and it is now weighing at 99, no, no, 4.35 grams. <laughs> So it was at 4.38 last uh, update and it is now at 4.35. So we've gotten 0 0.03 grams of product <laughs> that's been used. It's a lip liner and it is very dark and extremely pigmented. And so I'm really not using a ton of it per use. Um, I'm thinking once the colder weather rolls around and I start using more of my like really dark vampy lipsticks, I'll probably start going through this a little bit better. This is a really lovely formula. It has got a lot of good staying power, creamy, but not too creamy. Um, really lovely. Next is the Dear My Do Tranexanic a tran <laughs> tranexamic acid serum. This is a Korean skincare product. It has tranexamic acid, niacinamide, and bakuchiol. I've been really enjoying this. I've been mixing um, my L-sorbic acid powder into this. L-sorbic acid is vitamin C. Vitamin C and tranexamic acid are really good together at fighting things like hyperpigmentation, general evening of the skin tone. It came into the project at 59.37 grams. Uh, as of my last update, I had used it 14 times and uh, it was weighing in at 47.81 grams. I have only used this six times over the last month. I've really been hitting it hard with my tretinoin and usually tretinoin and tranexamic acid and vitamin C is fine. I just find that when I'm ramping up my usage, uh, my skin gets a little bit more sensitive. And so I like to pare back on everything else that I'm doing, especially the actives. So this I think would be fine by itself with the increased tretinoin usage, uh, but because I tend to mostly use this when I am using my vitamin C powder, uh, yeah, I've only used this six times over the last month and we are now sitting at 42.31 grams. This is where we were as of my last update and this is where we are now. It's gonna be done maybe within the next month, I'm thinking, yeah. She's not, she's not gonna last too much longer. So this is my Purito BB cream. This is one of the two tubes of this I had. For the purposes of this project, I was considering both of them a single product simply because I really only had a little bit left in both of them. So this is the shade 27. I also had the shade 23. 23 is better for me in the winter time. 27 is better for me when I'm a little bit deeper. I decanted both of them into this compact. So this is a little cushion foundation compact that I got that was empty. And so it's got a mirror on the inside, the little sponge here, and then you open it up. I pulled the sponge out, decanted all of the BB cream from both of the tubes in there, and then replaced the sponge. And I have been using it from here. Now, the Purito BB cream is one of my favorite BB creams of all time, if not my favorite. I'm not sure if I could pick between the Purito and the Misha BB cream. Both really, really beautiful, very comparable. I have always found this BB cream to be incredibly lightweight and very natural looking on the skin, but still giving some very good coverage. However, this particular method of application, it is definitely slower than the using a normal beauty sponge, and it is a lot slower than using a brush. However, I find this method of application to provide the most thin and even layer of product on my face and with this method of application, I feel like the very natural looking finish that this has on the skin becomes 
almost invisible. As natural as I feel like this is with one of those other application methods, this just brings it to the next level. Now, I don't find the coverage is quite as good with one layer. However, how I really like to do it is I will put one layer over my whole face and then I will just go back with a tiny bit more in any place that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. If I ever do pick up another Purito, um, I'm, I'm, I'm putting it in here. I love using it out of this compact. Now, last time I didn't do a very good job of tracking my uses. I used it between six and eight times. The starting weight is no longer relevant because the packaging has changed. And this packaging obviously is a lot heavier than the tubes that the BB cream originally came in. So yeah, the weight isn't really relevant at this point. I have used it six times since my last update and as of right now in this new packaging, it is weighing at 77.05 grams. I'm really, really enjoying this. I'm actually a little sad that I did not discover um, how great this BB cream is when applied with a cushion uh, like this until I'm almost out of it. Because honestly, this makes me like it even more than I already did. Love it. Next, I have this Physician's Formula Eye Booster Eyeliner. This is a little uh, brush tip liquid liner. It is in the shade brown, and it is one of the most truly brown uh, eyeliners I've ever come across. I know that a lot of a lot of eyeliners that claim to be brown are really just sort of an off black, and once you have it on the eye, it's almost indistinguishable from a black eyeliner. But this one is truly a very chocolatey brown shade. And I do feel like you can tell, even after it's applied, you can tell it's a brown liner, not a black liner. So for those of you who are struggling to find a brown liner that really reads as brown on the eyes, um, this one is a good one. It's a really, really lovely pen. It's very easy to use, very fluid. I don't know that it's absolutely the most opaque eyeliner that I have ever experienced, but it is really easy to use. It has a brush tip, which is my preference, and I really feel like it's a very effortless, very user-friendly eyeliner pen. When this came into the project, it was weighing 10.09 grams. As of my last update, I had used this five times and it was wearing in at 10.08 grams. <laughs> I have used it four times in the last month and it is now weighing at 10.06 grams. So I have no idea where I am with this eyeliner. No clue. I have gone through, I think one or two of the Black Physicians Formula eyeliners and it took me so long to get through them. They just kept going. They just kept going and going and going and going. It took me so long to get through them. I really can't accurately predict how long it's gonna take me to get through this one. So I guess, I guess we will find out. So my next product is something I don't have here to share with you because <laughs> I put it in a purse. There's always one. There's always at least one product that I can't find when I sit down to film. So this month, it just so happens to be my Milani understatement lip liner in the shade Shoop. It is a beautiful pinky brown kind of 90s lip liner. It goes with my Milani Shoop lipstick that came in a little, a little salt and pepper collab that Milani did. I used it nine times over the last month. I, I obviously, I don't have it here to show you. If I can find the lip liner before I edit this video, I will try to get it before and after up for you but yes I have used it nine times over the last month which makes for a total of 15 uses since it rolled in in May. The next product is my Tarte Breezy Cream Bronzer in the shade Seychelles and this is what it's looking like. It's a little grody right now. Some fluff has gotten into it, probably some cat hair and I'm kind of afraid to dig it out. Let me see if I can get it with a eyeshadow. Oh there we go. Whew. Yep looks like a cat hair. There's just no escaping it. Anyway, I did not roll this one into finish. I'm not sure if that's possible for me. I rolled this in for 30 uses. I picked this up in the winter and when I picked it up, it read so orange on my skin that I almost decluttered it. I was so close to decluttering this, but then I tried it in May after we got back from our family beach vacation and I realized I can make this work so long as I have a little bit more color in my skin tone. I'm hoping I will be able to make my 30 uses by the time the cooler weather starts to roll around. When it rolled into the project, it was weighing in at 64.31 grams. And as of the last update, I used it four times and it was weighing at 63.50 grams. But obviously if I'm gonna meet my goal on this before the end of the summer, which is rapidly approaching, 
um, I, I needed to really buckle down. So this last month I used it 10 times for a total of 14 uses. So we're almost halfway there, but I need to hustle because otherwise I'm gonna be, it's gonna be October and I'm just gonna be putting straight up orange on my cheekbones. Not a good look. I'm not looking forward to that. So I rolled in a few additional items at my last update and to my unending shame, I opened up my book where I keep all of the information on this project and I realized I had not noted down the starting weights. So I don't have, I have usages for these products and I don't have the starting weights. The first one here is my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. I didn't even mark the bottle on this one. I don't know what I was thinking, but regardless, I only used it three times over the last month. My goal is to finish this whole thing. I know there is no brown. <laughs> There's no brown here. However, it is the coconut scented version of the Slay All Day uh, setting spray, which is a really lovely sp setting spray. I think this setting spray is a good happy medium between my normal everyday setting spray, which is the Sephora setting spray, and uh, the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is much more heavy duty than I really need on a daily basis. And I feel like uh, the Slay All Day kind of sits there in the middle of those two formulas. It is a really nice setting spray. It's got a lovely uh, mister on it. I love that delicious coconut scent. Really, really enjoy it. And yeah, my goal is to finish this and I don't think that will be too much of a problem. The next thing I rolled in last month and did not get a starting weight on was my Ordinary L Ascorbic Acid Powder. This is a powdered form of vitamin C. I really do enjoy vitamin C serums. However, I don't enjoy how quickly they go off. Once you add vitamin C to water, um, it becomes unstable very rapidly. And that's why if you buy a clear uh, vitamin C serum, you will see it go from clear to orange as the vitamin C oxidizes. Now, some uh, vitamin C serums get around this by combining the vitamin C with silicone or with oil so it doesn't have that same oxidizing effect. I know that Ordinary has one in silicone that I have tried. I've just never really liked the feel of those serums. I picked up the l acid powder and what I have been doing is combining it with my tranexamic acid and applying the two of them together and I'm really enjoying it that way. I don't have a starting weight on this one, but I have only used it six times since it came into the project last month. With my skin feeling a little more sensitive with the tretinoin, um, I've kind of been pulling back on the other parts of my skincare, but I really don't think I'm gonna have a problem finishing this up. If I had to guess, I think this will probably last me through the end of the year, uh, but I don't think I'm gonna have to rush to get it finished before next April. Last, I rolled in my Milani lipstick in the shade Shoop. This is the lipstick that came along with the lip liner that I can't find to show you. <laughs> this is a really beautiful pinky brown 90s color, which is appropriate given the theme. She's just so pretty. I had this rolled into my lip service project pan and really, really enjoyed it. So I'm happy to have it in this project. I don't think I'm going to be able to use the entire thing by next April. I just, I go through lipsticks so rarely. I have been working on m the last uh, remnants of my MAC Viva Glam this entire year, and I'm still not done. And that one was much more well used than this one. So I think when I rolled it in, I set a goal of 30 uses, but I don't know. After the amount of use I got on it in my lip service project pan, and given how much I really do love this lipstick, I think I'm gonna raise that usage goal to 100. I'm going to try to use this uh, lipstick 100 times uh, before next April. That's a big goal. <laughs> especially given the fact that I have a lot of other lipsticks I'm also trying to use in other projects. <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for 100 uses on this lipstick. We'll see how I do. Over this last month, I used it nine times. Uh, so I have used it nine of the 100 uses that I'm shooting for. And it is currently sitting at 23.79 grams. So now it is time to roll in a few new products. The first product that I'm gonna be rolling in is one of my favorite Josie Marin products. I had another Josie Marin product in the project earlier that I finished last, I think it was last month that I finished it and I hated it. 
but I really love this product. This is the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. This is the tinted version, which I vastly prefer. This is a physical block. I really, really enjoy this sunscreen. It is a lot more hydrating than my regular summertime sunscreen. So I usually reserve this for the colder months when my skin is a little bit more dry. This I think is almost completely full. It is a recent purchase. I picked it up at TJ Maxx for like $10. Uh, regular retail price is closer to 40. So that was definitely a good deal. I don't know how much use I'm going to be getting on this while the weather is still warm, but once it starts to get colder, I will definitely whip this out and I will attempt to finish it. Also rolling in to finish are my two little Huda Beauty. Um, these are called the Melted Matte Liquid Eyeshadows. I love these. I love these. I don't think they were great sellers. I think that's the reason why they were discontinued. I think most of the shades have been sold out for a long time on Huda's website. I love them. I have one here in the shade, let's see, Double Pump Latte. Ooh, Double Pump Latte. It is that light neutral brown there. And then I also have Cinnamon Toast, which is this much warmer brown shade. And I'm gonna roll both of these into finish. Next, I'm rolling in some Salt New York products. I brought some Salt New York products in for my deck of panning, and it had been a while since I used them. However, using them in my deck of panning reminded me how much I love these formulas. So I have a little a palette from Salt New York here. Isn't this, isn't this pretty? I just, I love this thing. This is a magnetic palette. And in it, I have some, I have some Makeup Forever things here. These are my Salt New York products. This is my skin tint, or I'm sorry. This is the Sneaky Balm in the shade uh, N10. This is one of the most invisible complexion products I've ever used. It is a sheer to light coverage, so it's not gonna cover up a whole lot. It just gives you a little something on those days that you don't wanna be completely barefaced. So I am rolling this one into finish. I'm also rolling in this contour, this Salt New York contour. This is their Sculpt and Bronze Cream Tint Pro in the shade Taupe. And this one, I don't know if I can finish this one. I'm gonna go ahead and push myself a little bit. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish this one as well. I'm gonna try to finish both of these. I'm also rolling in this highlighter. This is their Cream Tint Pro in the shade Beige. It is a beautiful highlighter. I'm actually gonna swatch all of these for you. I don't actually think you're gonna see the sneaky bomb because she just blends right in and then this is contour color in the shade taupe very sheer very natural contour then I have the cream tint pro highlighter in the shade so this is taupe and this is beige just such a pretty blended out on the skin it's just sheeny beautiful I oh, just look at that it's gorgeous it's gorgeous there is a very, very fine shimmer in this highlight, but it's almost undetectable. I mean, somebody would have to be this close to your face to see any shimmer at all. Um, from any normal distance, it just looks like a glow, sheeny and delicious. I do not think I'm gonna be able to finish this highlight. Highlight, I don't wear a ton of highlight and the amount of product that you use per use is a lot lower with a highlight, obviously, than a contour or base product. So I'm gonna be rolling in the highlight for 30 uses. So I am rolling in another eyeshadow palette. This is a little Viseart Petit Four a custom magnetic palette. Where I, that I have customized for myself out of three other eyeshadow palettes of the same size. I have shadows in here from Lila, Lila Du, and Violetta. I am rolling in this palette as a single product. I'm not gonna break them up into the shadows as I did with the Glamlight palette. And here is how they look on the skin. And that is the palette right there. I am rolling this in for 30 uses as well. I have a couple of non-makeup items that I am rolling in. The first is this Maybelline Color Show nail polish in the shade Gilded Rose, number 305. This is no longer made, but it is my favorite enamel nail polish, so non-gel nail polish ever, ever. It is just, I kind of want to swatch this for you, but obviously I don't want to put it on my arm. I'm just gonna swatch it on the lid of my, on my l sorbic acid here. It is the most beautiful pinky gold. Do you see that? I just, it's so reflective and beautiful. The glitter is so chunky 
and delicious. I love this nail polish. It is unfortunately no longer made. It hasn't been made for a long time. And this nail polish is actually getting quite old. This is one of those products that I kind of stopped using once I realized I was running out and that I couldn't get any more. Uh, but it is my favorite. And it is also, it's starting to separate on the bottom just a tiny bit. So I need to use it now, or I am gonna end up throwing away a bottle of my favorite nail polish. I already have a little bit of windowing on the back of the bottle there, so I don't think it will be too difficult to finish it once I put my mind to it. I just need to stop trying to save the things that I like. This stuff doesn't last forever, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this one into finish. I'm qualifying it for this project because gold is sort of brown. A very, very light, shiny brown? Sure, sure. <laughs> We'll call it that. Last, I have some nail gems that I want to use up. I have had these sitting in my collection for quite a while and I don't, I don't reach for crystals all that often when I'm doing my nails and I kind of would like to. I'd like to be a little bit more adventurous with my nail art. So this is a little, um, this is a little plastic container of some really beautiful kind of topazy brown with a little bit of pink, kind of champagne-y. They're a little champagne-y, I would call it. Um, little crystals. Now, this is more that I think I can get through before April. Um, you only use a few. I, I generally don't go for super blinged out nails. So, although I have little roses on my nails today. Isn't that adorable? Um, so yeah, I kind of I kind of went all out with this set here But usually if I'm using crystals on my nails I'll only be using a few and I usually only do my nails once maybe twice a month So with that in mind, I'm gonna shoot for using half of these uh, crystals So how I'm going to judge that instead of marking the jar what I did was uh, Which I guess I could I could just mark the jar and say I need to get down to that level but instead I did it the hard way because because I'm me I guess uh, so I dumped all of the crystals out of this and I weighed the empty container. Um, the empty container is four grams. The whole thing total is 13.48 grams. So what I'm shooting for in order to use half of the weight of the crystals is I need to bring the weight of this down to 8.74 grams. That is half of the crystals in here by weight. And that is everything. Oh my gosh, you guys, this took 3 million years to to film. We stopped just in time because my son just got up from his nap and he is wailing out there. I don't know if you can hear it. I apologize if you can. Now I have to take pictures. I have to take pictures of everything. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending this time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye!